Hello and welcome to High School Soccer on WOSN. I'm Evan Skilleter from St. Mary's, where the St. Mary's Lady Rough Riders take on the Ottawa Glandorf Titans, a pair of WBL unbeatens today. Both teams 3-0 in the Western Buckeye League. Ottawa Glandorf with a 7-0 overall record. They're wearing the white uniforms and start with the ball. The Lady Riders so far this season 5-2 overall with that 3-0 Western Buckeye League. Mark, happy to be with you where our scoreboard sponsored by Charles River. This one into the box and cleared out by the Riders. I'll get you the starting lineups here briefly as that one goes out for a goal kick. The Titans again wearing those white uniforms. They start tonight with McKenna Seifker, Carly Brinkman, Delaney Dooling, Bree Douglas, Mackenzie Recker, Savannah Recker, Madeline Hovis, Liv Grothaus, Micah Aldrich, Megan Horstman, and in goal, it's sophomore Carson Erford. Sending this one deep for the Riders is Ella Jacobs, the goalkeeper. They also start with Reagan Allmeyer, Sophia Menker, Lauren Jacobs, Jillian Tomberlin, Kendall Davis, Ariel Fast, Kelly Holsinger, Claire Turner, Emma Freewalt, and Jordan Glass. Beautiful night for soccer here. The sun is out. Shadows starting to creep across the field, almost to the far touch line. Right around 75 or so degrees with a nice breeze as the Titans work it up the left side. This is Delaney Dueling. Dueling still trying to get something going. Now sends it off of the riders and Reagan Allmeyer for the first corner of the evening. It'll be to the Titans. The Titans said 7-0. Oh. They won 24 six, straight Dooling. regular season games, 15 straight Western Buckeye League wins, two straight Western Buckeye League titles. Here comes the corner, and it is over everyone's head, still in play. Now cleared away, but only as far as Layla Ersch. Oh, excuse me, that's Savannah Wrecker. Either way, St. Mary's able to get on it. Heading up the center of the field. This is fast. Ariel fast. Looking for somewhere to go with it. Now sends it up the left side. It's knotted down by the Titans and sent over to Mackenzie Recker. Now I mentioned the record for the Titans. 30 or 24 straight wins overall. 15 straight WBL wins. Now more impressive than that feat. They're outscoring WBL opponents in that streak. 115 goals to zero. Ball sent back into play. St. Mary's trying to get things going. Fast in the middle of the field. Tries to send it to the left. Knocked away by the Titans. Taken back. Now the ball in toward the defense, but Carly Brinkman able to clear it away up to midfield. Mackenzie Recker, Recker with nine goals to lead the scoring effort this season for the Titans. Four assists to go along with them. Nice job dispossessing her opponent on the far side by Jillian Tomberlin. Titans still working it down that right side. Cross knocked off Tomberlin. It'll be a throw for the Titans. Bree Douglas to the edge of the box. Here's a touch, now a cross back post and knocked up and over by Jacobs. Ball rolling toward the touch line. St. Mary's able to get to it. They clear it up toward midfield, but it's cut out. It was Megan Horseman grabbing it. Now the Titans back in possession. Here's Micah Aldrich. Savannah Recker loses possession. Taken away by Tomberlin, now to the center of the field. Sophia Menker. Menker with four goals so far this season. Five assists, fast, up, behind the defense, and out comes Erford off the line to gobble that one up. Another thank you to our scoreboard sponsor today, Charles River in Spencerville, the premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio, and they are hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Free kick right at midfield. Carly Brinkman, Carly Brinkman will line it up wearing one of the captain's bands for the Titans. Pops this one up toward the edge of the box. Knocked down. Grabbed there by Grothaus. Live Grothaus. And taken away. Holsinger up the right side fighting for possession 
against Megan Horseman. Still fighting. Grothaus steps in. And I'm not sure that ball was quite out, but referee says go ahead. So here come the riders down the right side. Ball dropped back. Now across center of the field. Looking for Sophia Manker. Manker has it taken away. Tom Berlin knocks that one down for St. Mary's. Lauren Jacobs runs onto it and sends it out of play. Titan still working up that right side, though. Mackenzie Recker. Here's Bree Douglas. Douglas, the cross, header toward goal, and Jacobs right there. Not much on it, but good buildup nonetheless. Yeah, by McKenna Seifker giving the shot on goal. Seven goals for McKenna Seifker this season. Six assists to go along with them. A lot of production for the Titans up top. St. Mary's, though, working it toward their final third. Ball sent up, knocked off the hip of Kelly Holsinger. Now cleared away by the Titans. A lot of possession in the middle of the field so far. One shot on goal. Jordan Glass up the right side, looking for Holsinger. Again, the Titans able to take it away. You heard the defensive record for the Titans. They do not give up goals very often. A couple deep runs in the state playoffs. A couple trips to lower.com field down in Columbus. Ball pinged around. Ultimately finds the feet of Kendall Davis. Aldrich takes it away. Nice step right there by Jordan Glass. And now here comes Ariel Fast. Fast with some space. Moves it up now at the left. Again, possession pinged back and forth. Still in play. Douglas runs on the end. Douglas with some space. Now sends it into the box where Ella Jacobs will come up and gobble it up with Ball no problem. Three-sport athlete, Ella Jacobs. This is her fourth year playing varsity soccer for this Rough Riders squad. Now some space on the left for the Titans. Delaney Dueling, Dueling behind the defense to Liv Grothaus. Grothaus, nice touch. Now a chance, crosses back post. Ball still loose, here's a shot. It's blocked, second shot up and in. The goal for McKenna Seifker. Her eighth of the year. And that comes at the 32-27 mark of this one. An early goal for the Titans. We'll talk about it when we come back. 1-0 Ottawa Glandorf right here on WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's is your goal sponsor tonight. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And the goal at the 32-27 mark by McKenna Seifker. Open scoring here at Rough Rider Field. Titans, a dominant force in the Western Buckeye League with an early goal. And now trying to get things going once again. This ball sent down the left side. It's a good look for Seifker. Seifker, a little bit of space to work. Seifker to the right foot. Here's the cross, headed away. That was Lauren Jacobs. Now still a chance to cross, and it's behind the goal. Last touched by the Titans, so the Rough Riders with a goal kick. Jacob lines it up. How often in high school soccer do you see goals like that where the ball just kind of loose in front of the goalkeeper and a couple feet swing at it and eventually finds the back of the net. Now nice footwork by Aldrich. She works it up. Nice pass in behind the defense. Running onto it's Delaney dueling, but she is offside, offside according to the far Titans. official. A good look, comes out solid build-up, but Dueling just a step off. 
The Jacobs will come up to take the free kick. Just under 31 minutes to play here in the first half. Jacobs, nice ball all the way up to Fast. Fast has it knocked away. Titans trying to work it up the left side, but the pass out of reach of dueling and out for a throw. Another throw for the Riders. This time it's Jordan Glass stepping over to take. And that one will go out. Another throw as Megan Horstman stepped up to send it out. Fast, nice footwork. She sends it behind the D, but stepping over to knock it out is Madeline Hovis. St. Mary's with the throw, edge of the box, headed up and away by Wrecker. Now out for a Titan throw. Titans quickly send it up the left side. Stepping up and taking it to Seifker. She plays it down the left. Ball kept in play. Here's Dueling. Dueling cuts inside. Dueling with a heavy touch. And nice job by Kendall Davis recovering to knock it away. Aldrich steps up. Pardon me, that was Madeline Hovis. Now Douglas. Douglas, quick touch pass. Here's Mackenzie Record. Record passes, shot, and a big stop off the line, and another save as it goes out. What a defensive play there by St. Mary's as Ariel Fast. Played away by a defender. Excuse me, that was Jordan Glass, knocks it off the line, and then the follow up shot knocked away by Jacobs. The Rough Riders defense holds strong. And the Titans get their second corner of the evening. Great buildup though from the Titans as Dueling puts this one in the middle of the box. Ball bounced around, dropped back, shot, and it's wide left. A good play there, but McKenna Seifker not Seifer. able to get it into that post. upper left 90. So out for goal kick. a goal kick, but the Titans knocking on the door of goal number two as St. Mary's will send three subs to the line to check in. Jacobs. Goal kick sent to midfield. In behind everyone as Carly Brinkman sends it to the outside. Here's Savannah Wrecker up to Douglas. Douglas trying to get around the defender. Nice job holding strong by Tomberlin though. Now taken away by Davis. Davis to the top, Sophia Menker. Menker's pass almost taken away but ultimately finds the foot of Claire Turner. Turner has it taken, a chance for the Titans to counter. Here's Dueling, Dueling with the cross, left footed, perfectly placed, but not able to bring it down as Seifker. Douglas comes up for the shot, it's blocked and out for the third Bye -bye. corner for the Titans. St. Mary's defense, yes, they've given up a goal, but they have done a nice job thwarting the attack as of late from the Titans. To take the corner for the Lady Titans. Bree Douglas places it down on the right side. Four Titans on the back post, they separate. Here's the cross, knocked away. Sophia Menker, Menker has it knocked away. Now maybe a chance developing. Up the left side go the Riders. Here's the cross, and out comes Carson Erford. No problem for her. Coming into the evening, she had 22 saves in the seven matches the Titans have played. Erford's punt goes beyond midfield, in behind the defense, giving chase is Seifker, but it's dropped back for Jacobs. Jacobs puts it right into Seifker's chest. It'll stop short of the line. Seifker on it. Seifker to the right side. Sends it to the center, Douglas now. Douglas with the shot, that's blocked. Ball still in the box. St. Mary's needing to get it out. Still some trouble, Dueling gets on the end. Dueling drops it for Seifker. Seifker with the cross, knocked down. In the middle, here's a shot, it goes wide. I believe it took a touch and it did. A goal kick coming, but again, the Titans looking so dangerous as McKenzie Record took that shot. 
And now we've got some substitutions. The Titans send in Marissa Brown. In for the Riders is Reese Rabel. Caitlin Liette and Liz Schlomer. So now a corner from the near side. Dueling sends this one back post. Ball in the air, knocked toward the edge of the box. Maybe a chance, here's the shot, and that's well wide and high by McKenna Seifker, but more danger from the Titans. Score remains 1-0 with 25-15 left on the Charles River scoreboard. Titans with a throw on the far side. Douglas drops it back. Now down the right, if that stays in, it's dangerous, but it ends up crossing the line, and it's a throw for the Riders. Ball back to Douglas as her heavy touch gets behind the defense, and a nice job by number eight, Lauren Jacobs, knocking it out. Number four, now Maya Herringhouse checking in for the Titans. Titans. She'll replace Bree Douglas, a much-earned break for Douglas. So the throw on the far side. It's Mackenzie Recker with it in her hands. She sends it in for Herringhouse. Herringhouse nowhere to go, but knocked out by St. Mary's. Wrecker with the cross, it's low and right at Jacobs, who gobbles it up with no problem. Quick throw out from Jacobs, a good throw as it sends Kelly Holsinger on a run. Holsinger touch to the outside. Holsinger off the defense. St. Mary's ping it forward and now out for a throw. Liette throws it in, taken away by Aldrich. Aldrich, nice job switching fields, but cut out. That was Liz Schlomer scooting over and taking it away. Now Schlomer, the touch over to Sophia Menker. Menker, good strength. Ball popped up into the box, giving chases Erford, and she gets there first. Ariel fast, bearing down on her, the leading scorer for the St. Mary's team. Seven goals on the season. Herford sends this one to midfield. Ball sent up the field. Here's Sophia Manker. Manker has it taken away. Trying to find somewhere to go is Hovist. Nothing there, eventually dropped back. Now Seifker thought maybe she was offside, so instead of making a play, she stood there and let St. Mary's just knock it out for a throw. Titans keep possession on the far side. As Liv Grothaus checks back into this one. She'll replace Mackenzie Rucker. Throw from the far side. Down the right, maybe a chance for a cross. Nice cut inside by Grothaus. Grothaus with the cross, and again, Jacobs there to scoop it up. Jacobs with the highlighter yellow on. Now she'll send it to midfield. We've got two goalkeepers that can send the ball deep. Maker has it taken away, scooting over is Lauren Jacobs sending it up the left side. It rolls out. It'll be a Titans throw. More substitutes coming into this one. Emma Freewalt checking back in for St. Mary's. Bree Douglas back in for the Titans. Looks like Bree will play on the left side this time. Ball sent up the right and knocked out by St. Mary's. Titans do it again. Sent up behind the D. Madeline Hovis chases it down. She sends it out of play. 
Gives her defense a chance to get back and get set up. St. Mary's trying to go quickly. Here's fast. Fast, down the left. Cross, knock down. Ball in the box. Knocked out, fast giving chase. Still maybe a chance developing if the Rough Riders can send it in front of goal. Now they do. Nice job cutting it out by Carly Brinkman. Now the Titans able to get possession. St. Mary steps up and takes it back though. Still trying to find space against this tough Titans defense. It's into the box, sent right back out by Megan Horstman. Douglas keeps it in play. Douglas up the left side, but too far down the left as it goes out. Sent back into play, but right off the riders as the Titans get it back. 19.45 to go in the first half. Goal scored by McKenna Siefker at the 32-27 mark. Your goals tonight sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. St. Mary's moving from right to left on the field. Menker, she has it knocked away. Back comes McKenna Siefker to take it for the Titans. Siefker toward the Ryder defense. Lauren Jacobs takes it away. Now Tomberlin. Tomberlin not able to keep it in play. Titans gain possession. Sub check in. They wanted to go quickly on that far side, but referee saw the substitute, who is Mackenzie Recker. Recker replaces Aldrich. Now fast. On the left side, Manker giving chase. Manker has got some work to do, tries to get there and does. The cross, though. Knocked away. Looked like it touched Lauren Jacobs on the far side. Excuse me, no, that was Manker. Manker will throw this in over everyone's head now. Grabbed there by 25. That's Kelly Holsinger. Now the Titans quickly the other way. Jacobs comes up. Nice job by her. No hesitation whatsoever. Titans get it back. Titans leading this game in possession. No official numbers for you as we have a few subs checking in with that. We'll step aside with 17.46 to go here in the first half. It's the Titans. One, St. Mary's nothing right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. One nothing on that Charles River scoreboard in favor of the Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans. McKenna Seifker goal at the 32-27 mark. Now the Titans knocking on the door of another as McKenna Seifker takes a heavy touch, runs into the defense and has it taken away. Titans trying to get it back, and they do as they drop it back for Savannah Recker. Recker's pass goes out. It's a rider throw as they move it up to near midfield. Now Manker, left side. Fast. Manker might have taken a shot as it's blocked. Now knocked out by Megan Horstman. Good job from Horstman sliding over to knock it out. Riders will send it in. This is Emma Freewalt. Freewalt has it dropped back. Caitlin Yetz. Now Manker fakes a shot. Manker still with it. Now down the left side, chance developing. Here's a shot popped up and over and wide, but a good 
job getting a chance there by St. Mary's. Aldrich will check back in, as will Delaney Dooling. Number 19, Mike Aldrich. Back in the match with the Lady Riders, number the Riders. 21. Send number 21, Piper, Piper Triplett, Triplett into 25, the game, as well as 25, Kelly Holsinger. Goal kick. Picked up by the Titans. Douglas tries to come back for it. She does get there. Good defense. Riders with a little bit of momentum their way as of late, spending some time in their final third, getting a few chances, but now the Titans trying to counter. Ball goes out. Titan throw, Douglas up the right side, trying to find Emma Herringhouse. It's last touch by the Herringhouse, so riders the Riders with the throw on the far side, with just under 15 to play in the half. One out, last touch by St. Mary's. Titans working quickly. Here's Erringhouse, Erringhouse sends it to Douglas. Here's the cross, far post, no one there. Aldrich trying to chase it down, but instead it's the Riders with Kendall Davis. Davis just sends it out. OG will step up to throw it, Megan Horseman. On the left side, it goes out, and it's a throw for the Riders. Rather a foul. And ball call. Call is a hand ball. Ella Jacobs steps out to take the free kick. Jacobs will slide over. She'll take this one. Nice ball up the right side, over everyone's head, gets past. Cut out by Megan Horstman. Now behind the defense. Here's Lin, uh, Delaney Dueling. Dueling with the cross, left footed over everyone's head. Still in play though as Douglas chases it down. Douglas is pushed and it's just outside of the box. Almost a penalty inside, which would have resulted in a penalty oh, kick, oh, but yes, instead it'll be a free riders. kick from just outside Bree as Bree Douglas, Douglas will line it up. Two girls in the wall for St. Mary's. Five players on the back post for the Titans. Douglas lines it up. Douglas with the cross. Back post knocked down. Maybe a chance from the top. Here's the shot. And it is well wide and high. Out for a goal kick. End of the match for the Lady Titans, number two. Sophia Manker back into the match in for the Riders. Goal. McKenna Seeker in so for the Manker. Titans. Jacobs lines up the goal kick. Sends this in down the left side, knotted down by the Titans. Aldrich steps up. Possession pinged back and forth. We've seen this a couple times. Now Manker on the far side. Manker trying to get past the defender. Now sends it up the left. Ball still in play, but taken away. Maybe a foul there, no call from the referees though. St. Mary's continues. And they're just gonna take a shot from the edge of the box. Not much behind it, but uh, in a game where you haven't registered many St. shots Mary's on goal, sometimes it's worth sending one toward the keeper and trying to make something happen. That time no problem though for Carson Erford. Two shots on goal now for St. Mary's. Titans trying to work up the right side, but a step offside oh, was McKenna Seifker. Very close, but the referee just yards away as he raises that Put the hand ball back for in offside. The for the Jacobs with the free kick right toward the edge of the box. Nice job by Megan Horstman sending it away. Now the Titans trying up the right side, but cut out. There's Piper Triplett. 
Aldrich up the right. Douglas has a little bit of space, takes a heavy touch, but still has it. Trying to get around the defender. That's Lauren Jacobs. Douglas still with it. Douglas tries to cut it back, but a nice job by Lauren Jacobs, the sophomore. Cross ultimately sent into the box. Now Aldrich brings it down. Aldrich with some space, her shot knocked away. Good aggression from the Titans as they're almost able to, uh, to register a shot, excuse me. But now the Riders trying to counter. Up the left, Sophia Manker. Fast tries to get it, but taken away by the Titans. A nice job getting it over to Delaney Dueling. Dueling behind the defense. Dueling chased from behind by Caitlin Liette. Now the cross. Knocked away. Another nice job by Lauren Jacobs. Titans with a good spell of play. Getting the ball to the edge of the box a couple times and now still carrying it into the final third. Douglas trying to find some space. This one sent into the box. No one there as Ella Jacobs comes out for it. Under 10 to play, still 1-0 on that Charles River scoreboard. Aldrich, nice job bringing that one down. That took some coordination. Couple players tumble, no call. Play continues. Maker behind the line. And Carly Brinkman comes back to clear it away. From Lady Rider, number 12. Jillian Tomberlin checks back into this one. She'll replace Piper Triplett. Be a throw on the far side. Edge of the box, fast. Nowhere to go. She takes a tumble. Titans get possession, working it up the right. Douglas, her pass, cut out by Jacobs. St. Mary's trying to work quickly, but the touch too heavy from Maker, and it goes out for a Titan throw. Ball straight up in the air. Brought down by Kendall Davis on the far side now. St. Mary's has been able to get it into that final third, but really has not been able to register too many good chances. They have two shots on goal, but neither of which were too threatening for the goalkeeper, Carson Erford. Now the Titans with one goal to their name. Five shots on goal. Sent up and out for a St. Mary's throw. Ball popped up. Aldrich brings it down. Down the left side. Ball still in play. Here's Dueling. Uh, dueling offside. offside. Free right on that one. So a free kick for the Riders as Jacobs comes over. Put the ball back into play. If you're watching this game and interested in more, we're pleased to announce new pricing for the WOSN streaming service. For only $8 a month, you can watch WOSN anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wosn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Take high school sports with you. Wherever you go, St. Mary's with a couple substitutions. Reese Rabel checking in alongside Emma Freewalt. After an early goal from McKenna Seeker, Riders have responded well. No goals for them, but still holding the Titans to just that one goal as Seeker gets past the defense on the right side. Maybe a chance to cross. Here she goes, and it's knocked out for a corner, Jillian Tomberlin 
knocking it out of play, and that'll be corner number five for the Titans. Number 11, Bree Douglas. Bree Douglas will move over to take it. She's taken both corners from that far side. Two players right in Jacobs' grill. Here comes the cross, back post. Aldrich can't quite get it with the head. Gets over everybody, sent out of play. Kelly Holsinger, the rider that knocked it out. Here's a throw. Ball to the edge of the box, knocked away by Reagan Allmeyer. Brinkman drops it back. Nice touch to the outside there by Savannah Recker, finding herself in plenty of space. Now Douglas, Douglas playing it up the right side. Two players giving chase. One player goes down, referee says no foul. What it's worth, which isn't much, but I agree. Now some space for Manker. Manker down the left side. Riders trying to get a chance here before the half. Nice pass to the right side. Here's Holsinger. Holsinger stops, looks. Now knocked out by the Titans. Decent build up. Again, Riders into the final third. This one crossed to the edge of the box. Manker, maybe a chance. Takes a touch, takes a shot right at Erford. But the best chance of the game for the Riders. It's their third shot on goal. Erford in the right spot. Nothing doing for the Riders. How about that footwork though from Manker with that just quick touch to the right side. Dueling shoe untied, but able to send it off the Riders for a Titan throw. He'll send it up the left, ball back out of play, stays with the Titans. Be Liv Grothaus to throw it in. Grothaus into the box. Here's McKenna Siefker. Siefker drops it back. Aldrich. Aldrich looking for space. Dribbles right into the teeth of the defense, but keeps possession. Only briefly, though, as Manker comes back for it. Manker has it taken away. Titans still in that final third, ultimately cleared away. And some hands on knees for the Ryder defense. They have had their work cut out for them. And Titans not letting up. Here's a cross, edge of the box, knocked down by St. Mary's and Emma Freewalt. Carly Brinkman, Brinkman runs into Manker. Manker trying to get it away from Micah Aldrich, but it falls to Dueling, Dueling with some space. Dueling tries the cross, but hits it off the edge of her foot and out for a goal kick. Goal kick, middle of the field. St. Mary's on it, Manker. Manker has it knocked away. At the right side, in behind the defense. Douglas giving chase. They drop it back for Jacobs. Jacobs steps up, clears it out of play. Two minutes. Two minutes remain in the first half. PA says two minutes. One forty-seven to be precise. Into the box. Seeker gets around a defender. Now crosses. Dueling steps up and just slides it past Jacobs for the second goal. Delaney Dueling at the one thirty-nine mark. Kenneth Seeker with the assist. So one goal and an assist for Seeker, and it's. 2-0, Titans on top as we step aside, we'll have the remaining 139 in the half after this on WOSN.
Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's is your goal sponsor tonight. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. That goal at the 139 mark scored by Delaney Dooling of Ottawa Glandorf, assisted by McKenna Siefker. And after some great chances from the Riders, the Titans send it back into their final third in front of the goal. And the great feed from Siefker finds Dooling who slides it right past the diving Ella Jacobs. Not much the Riders could have done there. And they find themselves in a 2-0 gap here at home. Both of these teams undefeated in the Western Buckeye League. 3-0. Right now the Titans who have won 15 straight WBL matches. Staring at their 16th in a row. Still have 45 or 40 minutes and 38 seconds. They'll get a break in 38 seconds here as Siefker works it up. Now outside to Dooling. Dooling trying to get something going here to Douglas. Douglas nods it behind her as Mackenzie Recker runs onto it. Recker, nice touch as she works it up the right. It goes out for a corner. 18 seconds on the clock. Douglas will rush over. She'll need to take it quickly. 11, 10 on the clock. 10, 9, Douglas 8, with 7, the cross. Jacobs 6, comes out, punches 5, it out. Ball still at the edge of the box. One second, here's the shot. Jacobs there, horn goes off, and the half comes to an end. Ottawa Glandor with the 2 nothing lead. These famous recipe chicken goals from McKenna Seeker and Delaney Dooling. The two tallies on the board, and we will step aside. Second half coming up after this right here on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. 2 nothing on that Charles River scoreboard as the Titans start the second half with that 2-0 lead. 15 straight Western Buckeye League wins. They haven't given up a goal in that streak, but it ends there. St. Mary's sneak one past the goalkeeper Carson Erford and the record was 117 goals to none in that streak of wins and here is the one a big goal by St. Mary's as they cut the lead in half with 39-39 on the clock my goodness that is the way to start the half if you are the Riders Goal from Kelly Holsinger for St. Mary's. Now the Titans trying to get it back. They send it in front of the goal. Still some space. Now a shot that's over the bar by Micah Aldrich. New life for the Lady Riders. Both these teams 3-0 in the Western Buckeye League. 117 goals to one in 16 WBL wins. Now I should say that goal tally is part of a 21 straight unbeaten run for the Titans. Not just in the Western Buckeye League, but either way, 117 goals without giving one up is impressive. What might be more impressive is that St. Mary's was able to break through and get that one. Still some work to do though as the Riders find new life in this game. They send it up to midfield. Titans step up. Now in the middle of the field with Kendall Davis. Davis goes down. Ball stays with the Riders. Ball up the right side. Here's Ariel Fast. Fast trying to get the ball going forward. That was the fourth goal of the season for Holsinger, by the way, as this one switched to the left side of the field. Out comes Erford as she jumps on top. Erford, the sophomore goalkeeper. A fantastic season so far and it's one of those goals you know sometimes things happen sometimes the ball takes a funny bounce sometimes you don't expect it to bounce at all and that one just snuck right underneath her 
Titans now sending it down the left side. Heavy touch, ball will stay in play. Here's the cross, and nice hands there by Ella Jacobs. She'll move it quickly up the field, throws it. Not a down by the Riders. Emma Freewalt with it. Freewalt pops it up down the right. Sliding over is Megan Horstman. Now ball played up the left side. Good wheels dueling, sends this one out for a goal kick. Delaney dueling with a goal at the 139 mark of the first half. McKenna Seifker scored seven and a half minutes into this one at the 32-27 mark. And of course, that Kelly Holsinger goal, 21 seconds into the half by St. Mary's. So again, reiterating this streak for the Titans, 21 straight regular season unbeaten run. There was a tie last year to Archbold. Otherwise, it would be a 21 straight win run for the Titans. 15 straight WBL wins. In that streak, only one goal given up, and it's right here in this game. Bree Douglas working around the outside. Nice job by Jillian Tomberlin making things tough on her, but now maybe a chance for the Titans. Here's the shot. Jacobs with the save and the second run on the follow-up. Ella Jacobs on her head and between the posts. Twice by Jacobs. The Titans almost getting one back with Ella Jacobs, one of the most outstanding goalkeepers you'll see in this area, showing you why right there. And a corner coming up for the Titans. This one into the center of the field. Here's a shot. Catherine goes in as it falls right to McKenna Seifker with no one in front of her. Not much that outstanding goalkeeper Jacobs could have done with that one as Seifker makes no mistake and puts it in for the Lee's famous recipe chicken goal at the 35-51 mark. We'll step aside and talk about that goal after the break right here on WOSN. Tonight's goal sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And that goal at the 35-51 mark, the second of the game for McKenna Seifker. And the Titans back on top by two. It's three to one here at Rough Rider Field. Riders trying to get something going now into their final third. Ball into the box, knocked away, and sent to midfield by Madeline Hovis. Down the right, here's Bree Douglas. Douglas had Aldrich on a run. That ball almost came into the box with us, but it goes right over the top. It'll stay with the Titans, sent down the right. Here's Mackenzie Recker. Recker cut off by Lauren Jacobs. Now into the corner that uh, Honestly, I can't see very well. Delaney Dooling sends it in. Now Jacobs comes out for the ball. 3-1 on the Charles River scoreboard. Evan Skilleter with you tonight from Rough Rider Field, campus of St. Mary's Intermediate School. Great facility here as Seems like every year there's a new improvement. Great press box, excellent bleachers on the far side that you can see. Nice little fence wrap. Western Buckeye League Championship banner on the left side of your screen. Lady Riders winning the WBL in 2008, 2010, 2018, and 2020. And then with titles in 2013 and 2014. This ball low, cut out by the Riders. Now maybe a chance to break. Nice fake there by Kelly Holsinger. Down the right side come the Riders. Kendall Davis trying to find Ariel Fast. Fast with a touch to her right. 
Fox with the cross off of the Titans and a corner coming up for the Riders. And it's the first corner of the match for St. Mary's. Sophia Menker will come over, four goals, five assists for Menker so far this season. She leads the Riders in helpers. Now the left footed cross into the box, knotted up in the air by Aldrich, the tallest player out there. With the setup here, we apologize that you're not able to see anything down in that left corner. Do our best to bring you all the action though, and we appreciate the St. Mary's Athletic Department for their hospitality, trying to get us the best views possible. Again, a great press box up here, friendly atmosphere. Always enjoy being here at Rough Rider Field for some soccer. On the far side, Titans throw it down the left. Two defenders, one takes it away. A whistle blows, looks like a handball. Some sort of violation on that far side as the Riders will have a free kick. Jacobs will line it up. Jacobs sends it to midfield, knocked down. Kendall Davis. Back and forth we go. Now fast. Fast to the outside for Holsinger. Olsinger, the last to touch it, and it's a goal kick. Good job by Emma Brinkman on the far side. Impeding Holsinger's path to the box and ultimately the cross. I can get off of Holsinger for the goal kick. 31-21 to go. Four Lee's famous recipe chicken goals in this one. Three for the Titans, one for the Riders. Appreciate Lee's sponsorship of our goals this evening. Famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. If you didn't know, TV44 and WOSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you and our sponsors. Now's a great time to make a donation in any size to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTLW.com and click donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day. Just visit WTLW. Dot com As always, a thank you to all of you for tuning into High School Sports. It's an honor and a privilege to be able to bring it to you week in and week out, multiple sports, 24-hour sports coverage on WOSN, and plenty of sports coverage on WTLW as well. Here's Micah Aldrich dribbling into the defense. Has it knocked away? St. Mary's not able to clear. Siefker sends it to the outside. Here's Douglas. Douglas. Moving it up, Tomberlin trying to get it away. Now the cross into the box, and it's cut out and knocked away by Kendall Davis. If you're interested in sponsoring a game or multiple games, please get in touch with the station as well. We'd love to talk to you about all things sponsorship and set something up for you. Creative. Sales team at WTLW and WOSN do such a great job tailoring your sponsorships to meet your needs. Ball now on the near side. Fast to the middle of the field. Here's Davis. Davis takes a tumble. Fast gets it back. Fast. A little bit of space, now runs into Aldrich to the outside. Manker with the touch inside. Manker sending it back outside. This is Davis. Now it's with Reese Rabel. Manker with the shot, it's blocked. Rabel gives chase, but Aldrich gets there first for the Titans. And a nice pass out to Bree Douglas. Douglas, nowhere to go with it. Still looking for something to do. Aldrich touches it forward, looking for McKenna Seifker. It was cut out 
by Lauren Jacobs. Now Manker. Manker looking for a teammate, but no one there. Now the Titans trying to counter in behind the defense. But McKenna Seifer wasn't making the run. Now giving Chase able to get there first. Seifer down the right side. Seifer with the cross and Jacobs there to grab it. And again, Jacobs quickly sending it out down the right side as St. Mary's looks to counter. Ball up to Ariel Fast. Fast brings it down. Fast goes down and a foul called by the referee. Foul uh, called against the Lady Titans. So a free kick about 35 yards out. Here's Holsinger to line it up. She has two, three teammates at the edge of the box on the far post, one in the middle, one on the near side. Holsinger creeps forward, now sends it toward the goal, and crashing in are the Riders. But out comes Carson Erford to gobble it up. Erford comes out to cover it, and to put it back into play. Erford with a nice job coming off that line. Her punch goes to the middle of the field, but taken away. Here's Davis. Davis loses it. Douglas chases it. Douglas with the wheels. Gets down the outside. Douglas still down the right. Now cuts it in. Douglas with some space at the edge of the box. Takes the left-footed shot. Not a bad effort as she had some space, but it goes off the some side of the foot and the out. And some substitutes enter the game with 26.42 to go. We'll step aside and be right back with more after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. That scoreboard reads 3-1 in favor of the Ottawa Glendorf Titans looking for their 16th straight Western Buckeye League win. But the Riders trying to get something going. That one into the box and Erford there once again. It was 2-0 at halftime after Lee's famous recipe chicken goals from McKenna Seifker and Delaney Dueling. And then 21 seconds into the second half, Kelly Holsinger got on the board for St. Mary's. The first goal against this Titans team in 21 matches. 117 to nothing. Here's a shot. Ends up being a cross, and it's knocked out of the box by St. Mary's. Reiterate, coming into this one in a 21-game unbeaten streak, the Titans had scored 115 goals, had given up none. St. Mary's able to end that streak, but some work to do to end the unbeaten streak. Nice move there by Fast. Fast with a little bit of space and closed off nicely by Emma Herringhouse. Still on the edge on the far side are the riders of Kelly Holsinger. Holsinger with the cross, it goes out and didn't touch a Titan, so it will be a goal kick. As a new goalkeeper will enter this game, have to imagine Ella Jacobs will switch positions here shortly. She runs over, takes those gloves off as quickly as she can. She'll change the uniform as Carson Erford sends this back in. It was Leah Brackman, the goalkeeper, a junior checking in between the pipes now for St. Mary's. Jacob's a fantastic athlete, plenty of wheels, and with St. Mary's trailing, needing some goals, I'm sure they'll rely on her heavily here in the last 25 minutes or so. And there's a foul. Let's see if they can get her in real fast because she's a free kick expert. I don't think they will be able to. So it'll be a free kick taken by Fast. Dangerous spot here. Four, five St. Mary's players on the edge of the box. Holsinger goes out wide. This one knocked up by the wall. Emma Brinkman gets a head on it, and it goes out for a corner. The second corner for the Riders as Menker picks it up and heads to that far side. She'll take it quickly. 
Lefty, in swinger, right in the middle of the box, knotted up in the air, still some danger. Ball still on the ground. Here's a shot right at Erford, who gobbles it up. Ariel Fast was bearing down on her. But another shot on goal. That's number three for the Riders. Erford punts to midfield. Titans outside. Here's Dueling. Dueling with the touch around the defender. Finds a little bit of space. Dueling carries it upfield. Dueling with the cross. Backside, maybe a chance for a shot. There it is, and a nice save. Leah Brackman dives down to her left. It hits her leg, and she's able to control it. Really well done by Brackman. Sometimes you see those saves bounce in front of the goal, and someone there for a rebound and an easy one. That time well controlled by Brackman. The second goalkeeper of the game is Jacob still waiting to come into this one as a field player. Now, here she comes. Ella Jacobs checks in with Claire Turner and Kendall Davis. Bree Douglas checks in for the Titans. Ball in play, knocked away by Douglas. Titans trying to control. Send it back to the St. Mary's back line as it's knocked back forward by Piper Triplett. Now cleared away by the Titans and out for a St. Mary's throw. Jacobs playing right in midfield. In the number 10 position, You're familiar with soccer, central midfield role, attacking. Ball knocked up and brought down. Both teams fighting for possession. Ultimately, St. Mary's taking it. Ball sent into the box, down the left side. That's going to be knocked away by the Titans. Sent to the edge of the box, knotted up, knocked away by the Titans. Maybe a chance to counter, a little bit of space on the right side, but closed off nicely by Piper Triplett. St. Mary's starting to push numbers forward with just over 20 to play. Now fast, fast with a little bit of space, cuts inside, shot blocked. Triplett steps up, takes a heavy touch, and out of play, it's a Titans throw. Eleven shots for the Titans in this one. Three shots on goal for St. Mary's. I should say, eleven shots on goal for the Lady Titans. This one knocked off of Seifker, but kept in play. McKenna Seifker, nice job keeping it in. Both teams fighting for possession. This one out of play. It'll be a throw for St. Mary's. Sliding over is Triplet. Triplet sends it up to Claire Turner. Now Manker slides under her foot and out for a throw. And some subs checking in for the Titans. For the Lady Titans. It is Number Delaney six, Dueling. <laughs> Throwing this one in is Savannah Recker. Recker sends it in. Claire Turner sends it out, and right back in play comes the ball. It's in for Bree Douglas. Douglas, her pass is knocked down. St. Mary's trying to get on the end of it, but right now the Titans have been in their grill every time they touch the ball, and they win this possession back. Dueling sends it into the box. Out comes Brackman. Under 19 to play, still 3-1. Charles River scoreboard, Titans on top. Trying to go 4-0 on the season in the WBL. On the left side, here's the cross. It's a nice one, 
takes a bounce. Douglas trying to get on the end of it, but it's cut out by Triplett. Triplett dribbles around the defender. Ultimately slides under the ball, but good work from Piper Triplett. Ball curled down the left side. Titans step up, they head it out. St. Mary's will throw, a sub ready to check in so they can't go too quickly. Jillian Tomberlin will check in. Caitlin Liette will head to the side to make way. Ball on the ground for Kendall Davis. Davis passed one defender, trying to beat another. It will send the pass up to the center of the field. Holsinger trying to get through the defense. Now Jacobs gets on the end of it. Jacobs cuts back. Jacobs a chance to cross. The cross is tipped. The ball still into the box, headed out by the Titan defense. Now Maker, left-footed pass into the box, and Erford slides over to pick it up. 17-21 on the clock. Manker now. Manker drags it back, trying to work up that left side. Manker still fighting. Titans able to get it away. It's out of play and waiting for a call. It's a Titan throw. Titans send it up the right. Now to the middle of the field, taken away, but only briefly. Now Ella Jacobs a chance to get something going. She tries to send the pass to the outside, but Tomberlin was cutting in. So it goes out for a tight throw. They've got a chance to counter, but a sub ready to come in. Yeah. Kenna Seifker will check in for the Titans. And in for St. Mary's is Jordan Glass, the senior defender. Down the left side. Jacobs turns, cuts back. Jacobs still trying to find some space. Can't find any as it's taken away. Dueling down the left, dueling with the heavy touch, dueling with the cross, back post. Douglas can't quite get there. The ball will stay in play as Douglas tracks it down. Douglas now with the cross. That's knocked down and finally cleared away, but not far enough. Still in the box for the Titans. This is Mackenzie Recker. Her cross into the box, nodded toward the goal but not much on it from McKenna Seifker as it's another shot on goal. Then another save for Hannah Brackman. Pardon me, Leah Brackman. Nice defense there from Emma Brinkman, the leader and anchor of this defense. It's Carly Brinkman, my apologies. Carly, Emma, two familiar names for Titans fans, especially in the winter on the basketball court. But Carly, a fantastic defender here for the Titans on the pitch. <laughs> on the far side, cross knocked away and out. So it'll be a corner, number three for the Riders. <laughs> Manker will set it down. She'll take it quickly. Center of the box, Erford there to grab it. Ball got awfully close to the line, but ultimately nothing doing. So the score remains 3-1 on the Charles River scoreboard. Just over 15 minutes to play, 14 minutes to play, excuse me in this one. This ball sent toward the box. St. Mary's gets there first and sends it out. That was Reagan Allmeyer, the senior captain for this squad. Down the left side. Ball cross. Siefker with some space. Siefker with the shot. And Brackman there once again. So Brackman 
Parsons coming in has had her work cut out for her. Four saves already in the limited action she's had this evening. 12 shots on goal for the Titans. And some subs checking in. Emma Herringhouse in for the Titans. Reese Rabel and Emma Freewald in for St. Mary's with 13-15 on the clock. Aldridge dribbles around a defender. Got some speed. She drops it off for Douglas. Douglas cuts inside, keeps it in play, cuts it back. Here's Aldrich. Out of the box, but Grothaus on the end of it. Grothaus, nice cross, brought down by Siefger. The shot and the goal. What control from McKenna Siefger as she takes the pass down off the chest and in with the left foot. It's 4-1 tight to 12, 49 to go in half number two. We will step aside. We'll talk about that Lee's famous recipe chicken goal after this. Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's is your goal sponsor this evening. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. A big goal from McKenna Siefger. And that is her third of the evening. Another hat trick for McKenna, the junior forward. That's what's so interesting about this Titans team. They do have four senior starters, but plenty of underclassmen and juniors in this starting lineup, a team that just continually reloads. They've won 15 straight Western Buckeye League matches coming into this evening, staring at their 16th in a row. 21 straight matches unbeaten for this Titans team, looking at number 22 overall. I don't believe that was the intent of Mackenzie Recker as it goes out of play. So a goal kick for St. Mary's who have played pretty well. One of the better performances against this Titan team in recent years. The only goal scored against them in that 21 straight unbeaten run. Now down the right side, brought down by Emma Herringhouse. Herringhouse on the right. Herringhouse looking for the cross. It's on the ground and Bracken comes out and gobbles it up. Titans doing what they do best, keeping their opponent on their back heels, even after giving up a goal, which, of course, you don't want to give up a goal, but I think if you're Coach Mag, sometimes you don't mind when a streak like 21 straight without a goal given up, it feels nice to give up a goal, to realize that you're not invincible, to see how your team responds, and certainly have responded well. They've scored two straight since that one goal from Kelly Holsinger at the 39-39 mark in this half. Seifert comes back for it, sends it down the left side for Dueling. Dueling couldn't really get the ball at her feet or under control anyway, but she gets it back, uses those wheels to get around the defense. Chance to cross, left foot, back post. Here's the shot and it's saved. Nice job by Brackman there as Emma Herringhouse got it on the left foot. More nice build up from the Titans who are not letting their foot off the gas. Riders with it back in possession. Jacobs up the right side. Headed down by Megan Horstman. Nice drag back by Aldrich. Up the left side, now ball played up the left by Liv Grothaus. Maya Herringhouse will check in here for the Titans. And for St. Mary's, it's Kendall Davis with 9.15 to play. 
He always sits there in the game. He's got to do a walk. I got to walk. I got to walk. St. Mary's throw, far side. Stays in play. Here's Siefker. Siefker tries to play it down the left side. Tracking back is Jillian Tomberlin. Here's a cross, though, into the box. Brackman comes out, but it's ultimately knocked away by the Riders' defense. Now Manker. Manker, touch pass to the right. A little bit of space to move up. This is fast. Or maybe that's Holsinger, excuse me. It's getting a little dark out here. Now fast on the far side. Fast, cuts in, fast. Nice little footwork, gets past one defender. Still has it, now poked away. She'll get possession back. Drops it back to a teammate. Cross knocked away. Maybe a chance for the Titans to break. Instead, it was Kendall Davis stepping up. Fast still in the right, fast. Some footwork, not able to get past the defender though, as the Titans send it out for a throw. Eight minutes to play. This one's sent back toward Carly Brinkman, who just pops it back up and out of play. Riders lose possession. Nice tackle by Mackenzie Recker. And Recker pops it behind the defense. She had McKenna Siefker on a run, but Siefker had to pull up because she was about to be offside. Now Manker. Manker drops it back for Jacobs. Now Jordan Glass. Glass has it taken away. Siefker down the right side. Herringhouse running down the right. That's Maya Herringhouse. Maya crosses it into Brackman. Four Lee's famous recipe chicken goals for the Titans. Three of those to McKenna Siebger. Another one for Delaney Dueling, assisted by McKenna Siebger. Siebger now with 10 goals on the season, seven assists. Leads the Titans in both of those categories. Now a ball sent into the box as the Titans able to clear it without much problem, but only as far as Rabel, Rabel to Manker. Manker left footed cross, back post, knocked down. Another nice job by Megan Horstman. This Titans defense has done a nice job. Siefker pops it up down the right side. Herringhouse is going to give chase, but won't be able to get there as it goes out of play. And some substitutes checking in with 6.15 to go. We'll step aside and we'll be back for the remainder of this game after this on WOSN. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Charles River in Spencerville. The premier pharmaceutical and chemical research facility in Northwest Ohio is hiring. Visit jobs.criver.com to apply today. Welcome back to St. Mary's. Evan Skilleter with you tonight. It's 4-1. Ottawa Glandorf on top of St. Mary's. In this one, almost an own goal as Carson Erford saves it off her own teammate's foot. Horseman slid over to try to clear it away. And fortunately, Erford on her toes there as she gobbles it up. It won't count as a shot, won't count as a save, but either way, a nice job by Carson Erford keeping the score at 4-1. I want to thank our sponsors again, the scoreboard sponsor, Charles River in Spencerville, and Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's our goal sponsor tonight. Ball goes out of play. St. Mary's throw on the near side. Unless something crazy happens, the Titans will move to 8-0 on the season, 4-0 in the WBL. It'll be WBL win number 16 in a row for the Titans. The last time they did not win a WBL championship, it was won by the St. Mary's Rough Riders and a goal, Micah Aldrich with the Lee's famous recipe chicken goal extends the lead to 5-1. 
Aldrich with her first of the evening. That's her ninth of the year. 55th straight goal according to my peer, Michael Hearn. I would say it's been nice sharing a press box with him, but that'd be giving him too much credit. St. Mary's back to work after the Lee's famous recipe chicken from Micah Aldrich. The Lee's famous recipe chicken goal, excuse me, for Aldrich. Thirteen total shots for OG, seven corners. Three total shots for St. Mary's, so quite the discrepancy in that stat category. Manker trying to chase this one down, but a nice job by Carly Brinkman stepping over and Bree Douglas offside. Sliding over to take a free kick is Lauren Jacobs. Now Ella Jacobs will actually kick this toward the box. Knotted up and away by it's Madeline Hovis, sorry. I almost said Micah Aldrich. Jacobs with the left one, foot got, down the left side. Geared away by Savannah Wrecker. Left riders, edge of the box. Ball with Kendall Davis. It's right in that area where it's tough to see for you and for me. Do our best. Get you the action. 2.50 to play. Ball goes out for a goal kick. The Titans will line it up, and they're two minutes, 45 seconds away from win number eight on the season. Remember to check out the WSN Scores app. It's new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store. So you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WOSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date with all of the scores. Here's a cross into the box. Maybe a chance developing, but a nice job by the Titan defense once again. Defense that has only given up one goal in 22 matches. Here's a shot toward the goal. It's up in the air. A nice look with Carson Erford there. To gobble Two it up, that's the fourth shot the for St. Mary's. Third save for Erford in this one. Back to the app. Again, it replaces the old app. So if you've had a WOSN app for a while, make sure you still go to the app store and download the new one. Your old one will not be updated. Ariel Fast trying to get to it, not able to do so as it's knocked forward by the Titans. Bree Douglas controls. Douglas pops it over the top, but offside. Here he goes. About a step behind the defense as we near the one minute mark to play in this one. Kick taken by Jacobs, knocked away by the Titans. Aldrich steps up. Aldrich trying to chase it down, but a good job stepping up by Jillian Tomberlin. Right for possession on the far side. St. Mary's not giving up. Titans feeling the same. Brinkman slides over. She took a tumble. Gets back up, no problem. Cross into the box. Erford comes up and grabs it. Not one goal that Erford did give up. One of those strange ones that just takes a weird hop, went right underneath her. Otherwise, she has been fantastic tonight. Only three saves, but she's done a lot of good work coming off the line and making things tough as Douglas sends it up the right side. Three seconds on the clock. 
it hits zero, and that does it from St. Mary's. The Titans with five goals, they give up one. McKenna Siefker with the hat trick, Delaney Dooling with the other, as well as Micah Aldrich. The one goal for the Riders came from Kelly Holsinger at the 39-39 mark as the Titans move to 8-0, 4-0 no, in the Western Buckeye League. 16th straight Western Buckeye League win for the Titans. St. Mary's falls to 5-3, 3-1 in the Western Buckeye League. I want to thank our sponsors one more time, Charles River in Spencerville, our scoreboard sponsor, and our goal sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Also want to thank the St. Mary's well, Athletic Department for their hospitality tonight. And as always, want to thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Soccer on WOSN. One more time from St. Mary's, it's the Ottawa Glandorf Lady Titans 5, the St. Mary's Rough Riders 1. For Jacob O'Neill on the camera, I've been Evan Skilleter signing off. Have a great night and God bless.